as of today, Wednesday, August 6, 2014, then the Israeli-Gaza ceasefire is in its second day now. And so that's very good news. And what the world has just witnessed is the greatest world leader in the world today, second to none, and that is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who rallied the entire nation of Israel into a sudden, giant, tightly knit unit of millions of Israelis who proved their devotion to each other, proved their devotion to their leader Netanyahu, and proved their devotion to defend their nation of Israel. This is the most incredible immediate uniting of a nation in modern times. And in order to carry out an ethical purpose of defending itself against the evils of terrorism. And in the Gaza conflict, then Israel's superiority militarily was also coupled with an unprecedented care on Israel's part to minimize harm to human life in the Gaza territory where the conflict occurred. And in fact, our own President Obama and the USA Democrats should be taking a lot of notes in witnessing how a nation like Israel can be suddenly united under their strong and wise leader, Prime Minister Netanyahu. So in a word, the entire nation of Israel and Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Israeli soldiers of Israel are to be commended today and should be thanked for their courage for what they've just accomplished in destroying much of the Hamas terrorists' capabilities and weaponry and their attack tunnels. And in fact, the world needs to recognize that Israel actually just did the world a favor in rising up and stopping Mideast Hamas terrorists, who the rest of the world leaders today, including our own President Obama, are too timid and weak to do anything at all about. And for those other terrorists in the world today, and including Hamas, then they should think twice before they ever begin efforts to come against the nation of Israel, since God's divine protection is on Israel from this point on in today's end times. <laughs>